Hello everyone and welcome to my corner of the world. Today I'm going to be sharing a technique with you and the technique is called sponging where basically we add ink to the edges of cards just of, of our cardstock just to give it a little bit more emphasis and if you look really closely you should be able to hear to see that there's ink that has been added on the edges and I've also done it on the inside of my card as well just here and here is another example where um, it's probably a little clearer to see where I've actually torn the edges of my cardstock and then curled them a bit and really sort of um, antiqued them um, and then added some uh, a darker color a brown color probably crumb cake if I remember rightly just to pick out the, um, the the edges so let's go ahead and show you how we do this so I'm gonna just bring in a small piece of paper to protect my work surface and the stamp set that I have decided to use um, for this for this card is the tasteful textures um, I'm going to be using this one here uh, although there's some other lovely um, uh, textures in there that I'm sure I'm going to be making use of before too much time. So I'm using the Blushing Bride ink and I'm just going to place it about, well, about three quarters of the way onto my card. Now this is an antique looking sort of uh, stamp so you're not going to get like a bold, clear, crisp image. It's not intended to be that way. Then I'm going to pick up and I'm going to use um, a piece of sponge and these are the Stampin' Up sponges. They come in a packet of three. I cut mine into six and then I take a little circle of the coloured cardstock. So this is Blushing Bride and then I just um, I just staple it onto my onto my sponge and then I know that that's that ink and I don't have to worry about washing it or remembering what it is. So I'm just going to gently tap my um, sponge into my ink and I'm just going to um, uh, sort of swipe it, wipe it over the edges. Now depending on how you hold your sponge to the paper will depend how much ink you get on it. If you want just a very little margin you're going to want to have your, your paper literally perpendicular to your um, to your sponge like that if you want a wider margin of ink then you're going to hold it a little bit more of an angle and if I can just get it sideways you can see that I've got more of an angle on my sponge and so more of it is actually going on to the, uh, the, the paper so that's that now I've got um, I've got a, another feature piece that I was going to go on the front of my card which I'm going to ink up as well and it's very very quick I find it works much better for me if I hold it in my hand rather than to try and work on my work surface works a lot better for me and then also to sponge up the inside of my card so the colors I'm using today are rich razzleberry for my card base and I'm using black and vanilla as accent card pieces and then rich razzleberry ink and the um, uh, blushing bride ink so the next thing I'm going to do is to just add my little um, design onto the inside. This is going to be the inside part of my card. And I will also do the envelope. And then finally I'm going to get some rich Razzleberry ink. And I'm just going to stamp my greeting and I've chosen good things are sure to happen for this one and I'm just going to pop it just so it's kind of half on plane and just a little bit over my um, my design there just to pull it all in together so now we're left with assembly so um, I like to use liquid 
um, glue to do this part of my assembly. My margins are quite small on my layers and so this gives me a chance to wiggle and jiggle it around to get nice even borders. There we go. And I always put my adhesive on the smallest piece of card and then uh, I know then it's not going to get um, it's not going to show um, if I uh, get carried away putting it on the largest piece. So that's my focal piece. I'm going to put some dimensionals on the back. Um, I prefer to put five, one on each corner and one in the middle. Gives it more um, support, I believe. Then I'm going to go ahead and try and tie a knot with this lovely black sparkly ribbon and I'm just going to tie it round and I put my th finger on the knot then my thumb then I'm just going to pull it round and then just pull it tight I think it's not just practice it's more technique to do to tie these knots and I do have a series of videos on mastering ribbon um, where if you can't tie a knot or you, you're not successful in tying a knot you can do a faux knot on your on your card so bringing everything back now I'm going to pop this piece here and I want it to be I want my card to go like this so it's a, a bit of my um, panel is showing either side so I'm going to use my liquid glue again I'm going to put a bit on my ribbon to stop it traveling and then down it goes like that just press it firmly you might just need to hold it for a second lovely there we go and then taking the back off my dimensionals and let's make sure we've got them all off now I'm going to position this so that it is slightly offset from center there we go and then I'll put the middle, uh, the, the piece in the centre of my card. This is the bit that I'm going to write on. The rich Razzleberry is a weeny bit on the dark side, unless you've got a, maybe a white or a silver pen. I did put um, a, a little um, texture on my base card using the Subtle um, Embossing Folder, uh, just to give it extra dimension. And then finally, we're going to have one of these petal pink giant rhinestone gems. And I'm just going to plop that right in the middle here. There. So there we are. We have, we have um, sponging. Uh, as I say, it gives a, a very soft edge to your card um, and very, very easy to do. Um, you can use the sponges or you can use the sponge daubers um, that Stampin' Up! do where you use the same technique only you pop this on your finger you could hold it in your hand but you can pop it on your finger tap it in your ink and then just go around and, and do the edges like that so I hope you've enjoyed this little technique you'll think about using it as I say there's more information on my blog and if you just click the link below it will take you there and it will there also find a link to my online store where you can go ahead and buy the goodies to make one of your card of your own thank you for joining me today see you next time bye for now <laughs>